What's going on guys? Just got here to the venue, Poplar Creek Bowl. As you see back there, a bowling alley once again. Last time we were here, we made some profit and played pretty well. So I'm hoping to do the same again. It's a Saturday. So I'm hoping the fish will be out today and we can make a nice little profit. All right, let's head in there. In this first hand, we look down at a suited connector, nine ton of clubs. We're in middle position. It's limped by the under the gun player. I decide to open a 10. Middle position to my left calls. And now when it gets to the small blind, he decides to raise to $40. Almost the exact same start to last video where we had that six, seven of clubs. And don't worry, we're not changing up our strategy. We decide to put the 40 in with our suited connector. These are pretty much like ace crackers, so if he does that face, we have some outs and middle position one to our left calls. So we did get the price. Now with about 160 behind, the flop comes. Deuce eight jack. We flop an open-ended straight draw. And the small button actually checked in the dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and check with my open ender, hoping to get to a free turn, but that's not happening. The middle position decides to lead out for 50. Small blind reluctantly gets out of the way, and I think this could actually be a fold. I don't know, because right now, if I do make the call, I'm committing one-third of my stack that I have left and hoping to see six outs, six clean outs, six clean turns, as a diamond would not give me the nuts. So uh, let me know what you think in this spot. Would you be folding or making the call? I make the call, hoping to see a clean turn and we miss deuce of clubs i'm gonna go ahead play and flow and check to my opponent and he pretty quickly rips it in mm, board pairs i have no other draws and i make the fold on to the next one in this next time we have jack nine of diamonds in under the gun it's a straddle pot from the button so when it's folded around to me, I'm going to go ahead and open it on up to 15. I think this is standard size in a straddle pot. Like in 2.5, you'd raise to 15. So like I do with that, I make a 15, and we get called by the cutoff and the button. So when the flop comes, king, eight, nine. Odd position. I'm not really going to be betting a lot on this board, so I check. I could debate a C-bet, but they both check back, and we see the eight of clubs. Not my favorite card. I do have two pair, but either one of them could have an eight. So I check, and the cutoff bet's 20 now. When the button decides to get out of the way, uh, I could be ahead of some draws here, but I could easily be behind an eight. So I'm going to go ahead and make the call, hoping to see a nine on the river or a jack. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, but the deuce of diamonds is a blank, and I'm going to go ahead and check to him. Now he decides to bet $50. Ah, just such a stupid spot I got myself into. I could easily have a king, so I think he's going for value against the king with an 8. Or maybe he has a worse king, king jack, king 10, that he decided to get tricky with and check the flop. But I ultimately decide to make the fold. I could debate a call as the flush draws and straight draws miss, but we lose this one. We decide to add on for another 200 to play to our max capabilities. This is our last 200, so hopefully it can keep us alive. In this next hand, we have King Jack off. We're in the small blind, and when it's limped by under the gun and the cutoff, I decide to raise to 15 as I don't like limping. And I get called by just the cutoff. So we go heads up to a flop, and not the best flop for my hand. 3, 4, 7, 2 spades. He could be c-betting or betting just by range on this type of board so with two overs and the king of spades with some back doors i call we go to a turn which favors him again 
but it does bring in that spade draw. So the eight of spades, I'm going to go ahead and check it. And he decides to bet 40 now on this turn. Ooh, we did pick up more outs, so I can't be going anywhere with two overs still. And that second yep, flush with the king of spades. I decided to make the call. Now when the river comes, honestly a pretty great card. The jack of hearts. I do pick up some showdown now. If we were up against the hand like a7, 7-6. Seven, seven, I'm not really sure what our opponent could have here. I definitely think it's a weak one pair as most of his sets would have sized up on the turn. So I, let me know what you think this bet is on the river as I've decided to bet 50. I, I think it was a little blocker size bet, like if he decided to re-raise and shove, I could just fold. But after a few moments, he makes the fold and I think he just wanted to get on the video. So shout out to you, sir. You got on the video and we take it down with our river top pair onto the next hand. In this next hand, we look down at two red duckities in the big blind. It's opened from 15 from under the gun, so a rather large size. The button decides to call. I'm going to go ahead and set mine with the deuces. Flop comes jack five jack. We miss. I check. And action checks around. Nine of clubs in the turn, so it brings in that flush, but action checks around. River jack. Okay, I have a full house. I want to target those ace king, ace queen. Maybe even a turned low flush. Let's bet for value. 25 bucks it is. That razor to my left makes the call pretty quick, so not feeling great. And he shows 10s. So I value owned myself, and that's what you get for calling deuces and not hitting a set. But now we look down at pocket 10s. There's already $50 there, as you see from the button, Jake, as it was open to 15 from the hijack, and Jake 3 bet. With pocket tens in the small blind, I cold call. Let me know if you think I should be four betting here, as I think the dynamics already in play are pretty strong. So I'm gonna go ahead with my tens and see a flop. The original razor actually folds, so me and Jake are going heads up to a flop. I've played against Jake in a previous vlog. That'll be linked here, where I run hundreds in a bowling alley, and he's a competent player, a regular. So when the flop comes, Jack five seven rainbow. I'm going to play in flow and check to him. He's going to go ahead and bet 65. Little over half pot bet. And in the moment, I don't really see... He could be C betting with an overpair, like most overpairs would. But he could also be trying to push me off the hand with ace king, ace queen. That's, that's pretty much it. Ace jack would be ahead. So I think this could be a fold, but with one over... I can't be too scared of those monsters in the bed. I'm going to have to make the call. See what he's repping. On the turn, we see the three of hearts. Now it brings in a backdoor flush, but I check and he snap checks back. Seven of diamonds on the river. I'm in an interesting spot with about 175, 180 behind. I debate shipping to get called by ace, king, ace, queen, as it looks a little bluffy if I do that, but... I don't want to get snapped by an overpair or a jack. So I check, and he bets 75. Such a milky sizing. Come on, why are you betting one-fourth pot? Why couldn't you have just went all in, and I snap, and you show ace-queen or ace-king? Come on, Jake, why are you putting me in this spot? Uh, his turn check really confused me, as queens would deny equity from those overcards as ace-king coming. Aces and kings... Might check back to look tricky. And even an ace-king might <laughs> might check back and just give up. But now when he bets the river, my line does look weak. So I think he could be trying to bluff me. I'm going to go ahead and make the call. And we are no good. <laughs> Jake shows pocket kings. And we lose this one. Nice hand, Jake. And on to the next hand. Next hand, we look down at ace-nine suited. We're in the cutoff, and it's folded around to us. We're going to go ahead and open it on up to 10. As you see, we didn't top off because we only brought 400. We usually only bring two bullets. So we're going to have to play the short stack style. Small blind and big blind are the only callers. So we go three ways to a flop. And that's a nice flop. Three, eight, nine, two spades. We flop top, top. When both opponents check to us, easy decision to see bet. And I see bet for $15, half pot. Trying to get the pot built. 
With this, just the small blind calls. Now the turn is the king of diamonds. When they check, I want to go for some more value as I do have a lot of kings and even in this scenario I have that ace with or the nine with the ace kicker. So I do have a pretty strong hand. He shouldn't be hitting this king a lot of the time. And with the $25 bet, he calls. Now the ripper comes the five of diamonds. When he checks, I think I should just be shoving it all in with only like 45 behind. But I wanted to play more hands, and I didn't think I was too good. But I should just be repping it in on the river. But I check back, and we're ahead against the worst nine. So we take it down. In this next hand, we have ace, queen of hearts. I think we're in, like, the hijack middle position. I don't know. I open a 10. Get immediately three bet from our left to 30. Kind of at an awkward size as... If I do just make the call for 30, I'm going to be fairly committed, and I don't want to whiff a flop with ace-queen suited, a beautiful hand. When it's folded around to me, I debate my options, just calling, four betting, folding. I think I could be folding, or just calling. I, <laughs> I rip it in, and I say once or twice, and we go twice, and of course he has them. The bullets, bucket aces. We're going to see a run out. Oh, there's our queen. Can we get another one? Nope. Okay. We still have some straight. Oh, hearts. Let's go. And we break. And we lose. Well, that was a quick one. <laughs> the sun is still out. Um, minus two buttons. Maybe that shove with ace queen that you just saw could have been avoided. But... <sighs> I'm not sure. Let me know. Rain into aces with ace queen. Down 400. I'll probably add this on with another session. Um, or we can just call it losing $400 in an hour. How, why don't we call it that? I don't know. I might add it on. We'll see.